so guys, we're back. Last episode, we uh, killed the worm. Um, I don't know what to do here. I guess we'll just meet up with uh, Bryce or something. I honestly don't know. I don't think it really matters who you go with here. Is it me or is it just really quiet? Turbo attacks, please go away. I don't even need you. I don't know. Uh, okay. Test. Oh. Uh, that. Right. <clears throat> Once again, I found myself within the police department, which seemed oddly quiet for this Sunday. It didn't take me long to spot Bryce in his office. Isn't he, like, out of office now? I don't know. Hey, Rosen. What's up? Nothing much, but you told me to contact you if I could remember anything that might help with the investigation. That's right. What do you have for me? I'm not sure if it's worth mentioning, but... I have known Razor for a couple of years, so I know a few, some things about his personality. Hmm, I see. Well, that's actually more helpful than you might think. Mannerisms, habits, all kinds of all kinds of things would be help, useful to add to his profile and get a better idea of him. You know, I'm just about done with the today. Uh, but if you want to discuss it over a beer or something, I'd be more than happy. Gentle Quindo, just one, I'll take three. Um Sure. We'll see about that. Alright, let's go. I'm guessing because they're dragons, they take more alcohol content, right? So the, their alcohol has to be pretty high, alright? Here we go. Here we are. And just in time for happy hour. You got me off them? Sometimes. Oh, what? Hey. Oh. Hey, you two. What can I bring you? Just the usual. One generic beer for the chief of police. Sure thing. Uh, how about you, Horizon? You too, nothing else. I mean, later, I think. Uh, how'd you know my name? Yeah, I'm gonna ask that. <laughs> how could I? Everyone knows about you. So, what will be? Uh, now I got a generic beer. Noted. I'll be right back. We have five or six claws. One, two, three, four, five. five. Okay, I guess I can't count. It was long before the waiter returned with the drinking bowl, as wide as, as it wasn't long before the waiter returned with the drinking bowl, as wide as it was tall, filled to the brim with a foam-topped dark amber liquid. Carefully, he set it down in front of Bryce, who didn't hesitate to take a big gulp. He brought one for me as well, provided it in a glass that seemed more appropriate for my kind. There you are. Just call me if you need anything. Of course. So, what do you want to tell me about Razor? There are a few things. I mean, they're probably, they're probably not much, but anything might help, right? That's right. Anything unusual about him, anything that defines his character or stands out about him could help us. How about you tell me what you know about him? Well, the oldest memory I have of him was when we both went to the same school. We only shared a few classes, though, and a couple of friends. Overall, I'd say he was an above-average student. We didn't talk very often, but he always... He was always very outspoken, and never failed to speak up to make his opinions known. He was the kind of person I'd fully expect to become a politician one day, or at least an activist of some sort. That's the impression I got from him. He spoke a lot, but you could also expect him to act on his act on his word. Of course, his nature caused him to clash with others, sometimes in, even including the school staff. Though his genuine enthusiasm also garnished praise for them from them, he was quite the character. After we all graduated, I didn't hear anything from him for a long time. Only some years later, after we found the portal, I, was I surprised to find out he was the human who would be sent to your world. He had volunteered. It wasn't until I al was already there, here, that I actually met him again, however our, however brief our interactions were. But then I already told you everything about what happened prior to the eventual scuffle with Maverick. There is only one thing that stands out to me about those events in the restaurant. Events. In the restaurant, when he told me about the letter, he mentioned I would know how to read its secret message. You know he values the use of his own intellect, but when I received the letter later, he apparently fully expected me to remember a random chemistry class we had together years ago in order to see the message. I see. So, you did not arrange, for, arrange this beforehand. Not at all. I had no idea. That is quite peculiar. I know. I still wa wonder what he would have told me. I wonder what he would have told me if Maverick hadn't interfered when we met at the portal. Probably about how there's going to be an asteroid going kablooey, but we do we do as well, and you can believe that. I'm guessing 
I just just a guess. That is holy. Okay, I just looking at the ceiling. I saw these. I mean, I feel like that's a lot. I don't know. Then again, a few of them breathe fire, so like it can get out of hand pretty fast. Anyway, so I feel like how these go is that like you know each time you do a scene, it plays that specific scene. So even though you could be like near end game in the story, if you haven't done their scene, it plays the first scene. You know, I'm guessing that's generally how these go. I guess I don't know. This is like the first one I've played. Not the first one I've watched. Oh, anyway, we do as well, and you can bring it up. Uh, how was Maverick even allowed to intercept his letter and read it? He could have easily done so since he was in charge of his letter and everything, but he totally shouldn't have. But totally should. He, yeah, totally. Okay. It's very casual. I mean, we wouldn't do anything of the sort of thing. Everything he has done in regard to wisdom has been a poor show of character. I suppose so. In any case, thanks for telling me of all of this. You never know when this kind of information could be useful. No problem. Just when I thought an awkward silence uh, might set in, Bryce spotted the waiter and didn't hesitate to speak up. Hey, waiter, bring me another. I hadn't noticed, but while I was talking, Bryce had been busy sipping on his drink. The empty bowl before him was proof of his profi proficiency, while I barely touched my own drink. Here you go. That was one voice. Well, I was just about to start on a second when he suddenly spoke up. You know what? Why don't we have ourselves a drinking contest? I would, but I don't think I could beat someone like you. I'm in awe. Uh, these were my exact thoughts, so if it's going to literally have my exact thoughts, then we're going to go with my exact thoughts. How about Henny Captain? I'll go easy on you. You're not letting this go, are you? Just having fun. Alright, let's do this. I just lowered a snout and gulped down the beer like at an inhumane rate. The bowl draining rapidly, drained rapidly and was empty in an instant. Fair is fair. Uh, considering they don't have considering they don't have cars, at least I won't have to worry about drinking and driving. The rules are simple. We both get around, then we wait a few moments until the next one, so the effects can kick in. Whoever gives up first loses. Sounds easy enough. Let's burn some brain cells. That's your mistake. I never give up. Uh, let's burn brain cells. I'm always about burning brain cells. And may whoever burns more win. This is the this is the true game of kings. I'm telling you. All right, let's do this. He made a show of looking me in the eyes while lowering while he lowered his muzzle into the bowl before he started guzzling his drink noisily. It was gone in seconds. Certainly, this was going to be tough. My confidence faltered, but there was no turning back now. How did I think I could win a drinking contest against a freaking dragon? Nevertheless, I grabbed the drink, putting the best show I could, putting on the best show I could while I tried to recreate Bryce's feet. As our first sip, however, I realized it was very different from any other beer I've tried before. Yet I persevered through the intense taste until the glass was empty. Yeah, this probably has like a lot more. I already said this, whatever. I probably wasn't as impressed as Bryce, but I wasn't. I probably wasn't as impressed if as Bryce. I had been just a few moments earlier, but I couldn't afford to show any weakness. My plan was cut short, though, as I set down the glass, and an unusually strong aftertaste hit me, causing me to make a face. How would you like it? Ugh, it's some really strong stuff. A dojo. You better know beforehand how much you can take, or it'll hit you harder later on. Wanna give up already? Uh... Ah, oh, yes, the- Sh Shut up, baka! No, heck no. We're not going to anime speak. As you wish. Uh, so, when's the next round starting? Right now. Soon enough. Do you feel it? Do you feel the buzz kicking in already? Uh, no, I mean, I can see it in the face. Unless that's blushing. I see. What's this blushing I see? And not the alcohol. It's not a blush. Alright, it's a buzz. I'm not buzzed. Yeah, he, I guess he caught me. I guess. I don't know. That's what I thought. Anyways, how do you like it? <clears throat> Anyways, how do you like it so far? How do you like it here so far? I mean, compared to whatever it is that you can I mean, drinking contest with a dragon, how can I not love this? It's alright. Uh, cer certainly a nice change from what I'm used to, to be honest. I think I'd rather be at home. No. Uh, I guess it's what I'm changing what I'm used to, but how could I not love this, bruh? You got a scaly going into dragon land, right? I like how doing hand movements without a camera is, you know, yeah, we'll see how much you like it when I've drunk, when I've drunk you under the table. Waiter, bring us another round. Coming right up. 
Here you go. Having ourselves a good little contest, are we? You know how it goes. That to do. Be careful, Eisen. He's a pro. Ah. Yay. New voices. And a very interesting character design. I'll give him that. Did I hear... <clears throat> yeah, sure. We'll give you mass voice. Did I hear something about the contest? Maybe. Up to your chicken, I Now, don't spoil the fun. I don't go around telling people about what you're up to, either. Point taken. Enjoy. Of course he... Of course he wouldn't have challenged me if he wasn't confident he would win. I guess I'll have to try my best. I went first that time, so that was it. Then. I put a glass to my lips and started swallowing the dark amber liquid. I was struck by how much more difficult this round would be compared to the first. One thing that always puzzled me what about seasoned drinkers was the sheer amount of liquid they could ingest without issue. Giving it down, however, was a much different question. But this contest wasn't about giving it down. There. Your turn. Did I... Did, did I see you struggling there for a second? Let's see how you do. That's my tactic. Make you think I'm struggling, so you like to card down. Maybe find the rest of this. Uh, but you don't... This isn't anime. You don't, like, say, yeah, I'm going to punch you on the right side. And it's like, oh, no, you're going to punch me on the right side. And then punches on the right side. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't have any life experiences with drinking beer because, you know, I can't drink beer. So, I don't know. I've, I've had much more than this before. As for my turn, let me demonstrate. Once again, he consumed a drink, though his swigs were noticeably slower than before. His resolve was also fading, though not as fast as mine had, as he clearly held the advantage. Was there any way I could still turn this around? I'm also wondering, as well, because I know... Did that get blurry? Am I screen get blurry? This word got blurry. It is getting blurry. What? Nice touch. I also swear, but I also, sometimes for these, I feel like, no, what am I trying to say here? Okay, so, is beating, question is, is beating him the more correct option, or is like getting close and then losing the more correct option? Because sometimes I know, that screen is actually kind of making me feel drunk. Anyway, uh, because sometimes it's like, oh yeah, you got close, and I appreciate that, but then other times it's like, you know, because like, does the Dom want to be domed? Or does the Dom want to stay Dom? That's, you know, that's that's what you got to think about, right? There. No, let me ask you a question. I know you wanted to tell me about all the stuff you, about Reza, but was that the only reason you wanted to meet me? It was, looks like dinner is ready. Wow, long have I been recording? Cool, I guess I'll just have to do a uh, um a jump cut yeah so see you soon so guys we're back um let's uh get this going let's uh remember what he said because it's been a few minutes longer than that question uh is that the only reason you want to meet with me uh doesn't have his friends at places maybe i'm having a little fun it didn't hurt right yeah because you know dating sim Oh. <laughs> I thought so. I will disagree with that. Wait then, next round. Coming. There you go. Thanks. How are you holding up? Just fine. Thanks for asking. If you say so, good luck. Was it your turn? Or was it my turn? It was yours. Alright. By now it was obvious that Bryce was faltering. Though he still was faring much better than I was. He even had to break a... In the middle, and they even had to take a break in the middle of his beer, unable to go down it in one go. No, he seals. He was a lot heavier than me, and even though his bowls held far more liquid than my glasses, how did I think I'd stand a chance against him? When I picked up my glass, I didn't have the feeling in my fingers anymore. I had to pause a few times, but in the end I made it. I wasn't sure how much more I could take. So, what, what are we uh, do, do now? Wait. For you to throw up so why wouldn't you? You never said that was a rule. You wish. Might as well do that now. You wish. I can see your clothes. Just a question time now, Sonny. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. 
Why are you brown? <laughs> I so damn attractive. <laughs> oh. Wondering what to go with here. On okay, honestly, I'm not going for you this run, so I really don't give a shit what I say to you. I really want to ask. Okay, we're going to ask this, and then I'm going to go back to this, because I really want to see the answer to this. I mean, just ask someone like they're brown. <laughs> you do just ask someone like they're brown. Don't you have, like, difficult people you're from? Or do they all look like you? You seriously look like a chocolate cream cake. Delicious chocolate cream cake. Can I taste you? Wait a next round. Neat. Ah, oh, damn. Well, that sucks. Ah, uh, but it doesn't stop me from changing time. Ah, uh, boop, and then a boop, and a boop, and a boop. This should skip to the choice, right? Yep. Ah, uh, then you wish, and then the, uh, and then why are you so damn checked? Because that's what I wanted. I just um, got nothing more but to say about that. But it looks like, yeah, that's about what I expected. Brown one was pretty funny. There you are. There. I hate words that end in L Y because I decided I wanted to screw up my speaking and now I can't do that. Literally. The dragon looked at me, seemingly unable to focus. I could see he was hitting his limit, but so was I. If I held out for a bit longer. Whose turn was it even? I think it's yours, mine, I don't even know. Be, be fair, you know. I hate when people aren't fair. Good. At this point, I had difficulties picking up my glass. I was about to give up, but I had, but I was sure if I had, if I held on, just one more time, or just one more round, it'd be over. I could still win this. I had to wait a few moments after each chip in order to continue, but I did not give up until eventually the glass was empty. Your move, Chief. Suck on this, you scaly bastard. Yes. First time I could see in his eyes that. Are there, I could see something in his eyes other than that always present confidence. Was it disbelief or insecurity? I guess my feet caught him off guard as he seemed genuinely impressed. If nothing else, this showed me he showed me that even his own conviction was cracking now. I could totally win this. You're cute. I like you. I really do. But I sure as heck am not going to let you win. He was struggling. It became a bit more and more obvious as he tried to swallow. Red blood in his bowl. Bit by bit. He stopped at one point, panting heavily. I considered taking a cheap shot at him, but I, as I refrained from doing so during my turn, I wasn't going to start now. The. I was getting tired, but I could hear Bryce's voice, but I couldn't, I could not make out the individual words anymore. I decided to rest my eyes, just for a little bit. Dies. Hey, are you okay? You fell down and you felt kind of messed up. Yeah, I'll mess you up if you don't get your face out of my face. If you think I'm giving up, you're mistaken. This isn't over. Um, yeah, I can see that. Ready for another round? Or do you give up? Bring it on. I think we're gonna stop here. You know, I've had enough, and it's now. Uh, see, this is what I was talking about. You know, when pacing yourself, but you know, like, you know, you keep going till you pass out drunk because. You know, I'll lull. Actually, you know, once you're lying on the ground, you better stop. Does that mean I win? I didn't say that. You know, it was fun watching you and all, but you've both had enough for the eating. I think you better leave now. After you've come out from the table, that is. All right, all right, I'll be gone then. Wait a minute. Uh, what is it? We should go with him, just to make sure he gets home safely and doesn't do anything stupid. You know, it's kind of an unspoken rule here that whoever is a drink. You know, that whoever is his drinking buddy does so. Uh, when I looked around him, I discovered that Bryce had passed out for the moment. This kind of yes. I like how both of those options mean the same thing. Like, there's no, oh yeah, sure, it's just, sure, uh, fine, I guess, because that's less, eh. Yeah, thank you. Come on, let's get you home. Still unconscious. Dump some water on his face, slap him, put some pepper on his nose. Uh, water's gonna be messy, slap him's gonna do nothing, so pepper, right? Right, and it'll be like smelling salt. Huh, that was actually salt, not pepper, let's try it again. 
What is that you guys? Where am I? What did you do to my nose? Did you set something in there while I was out or something? Uh, we're still in the barn, and I just put some pepper in there. Wake you up. That's the best idea you could come up with. I'm drunk. What do you expect? Oh, shut up. Come on. Well, let's get you home, you big wolves. Wait, you gotta think about those waiters, right? You know, if you spill water on the floor, that's a pain in the ass. Clean up. I woke, looking at an unfamiliar ceiling. For a moment, I wondered where I was before the events of last night all came back to me. As I got up and looked around, I realized that apparently I'd slept on the floor. Where am I? This is my apartment. Guess this. I guess I must have passed out after I got Bryce home. Hey, Bryce. You're salivating. Wake up, fatty. Good morning, sunshine. Uh, I like this option, but we're going to go with sunshine because, yeah. Dragon moved and let out a groan before he opened his eyes. Damn, my head. Are you even here? I guess I must have passed out after I scared you home. Alright, after a little game. You remember who won? I don't even know, but you stood your ground and I respect that. You, don't, you didn't do anything funny while I was out, did you? I can roll from the couch with a nice morning stretch. Rubbed his eyes, then held his head as high as he high high let out a grunt and a big yawn. Alright, you know what? I'm sorry. The whole contest thing was a stupid idea, and I shouldn't have suggested it, especially not to you. Well, it's not like you forced me to participate, so I suppose I share some of the blame. Or just pretend the whole thing have happened. Deal. Maybe I'll invite you over some other time and show you that there's more to chief or a police than getting drunk and pissed out. But I'm probably going to find out who won if we aren't going to have a rematch. Yeah, I'm sure we'll think of something else that could measure our endurance. Speaking about sex. Yeah, I don't like that tarot card. That's not going to speak well. <sighs> what is that? 20 minutes if you include the other one? That's kind of a weird cutoff point. Just a 20 minute episode. Combine, combine the two parts and take back the other stuff. That's actually more like 19. But I have shit to do. Okay, sorry. It's so, okay. Yeah, that's it. Um, Sorry for a small episode. Like the two's really small, like 10 minute halves, but the weekend has been busy and I barely got around to doing this. So hopefully I can make the next one longer. I'm really trying to make these all 45, but I don't know. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I'll call it here. Um, bye, I guess.